So I've just seen a fairly disturbing video on TikTok of a lady being searched without her permission in a well-known supermarket. But I'm not going to show you the video in this video just yet because I'm waiting on her comments about using the video uh, before I name the story in question because no lawyer wants to get sued for defamation before they've got all the facts because fact checking is quite important. But nonetheless, I can tell you about the legal principles behind this because if the video is true in that she was genuinely searched by the security guards with her bags, taking out all of the items that she says she's paid for and they are checking for items that they believe have been stolen only for the culmination of the video to reveal that she was innocent all along and that she hadn't stolen anything, at least that's what the video shows so far and I'm waiting to discuss it with her, then let's talk about the overarching legal principles at stake here. But before that, welcome back to my my channel but if you are new to me I'm a barrister who helps you understand law so please hit that like button and subscribe because we all know that's how the algorithm works and we all like a bit of free legal guidance not advice you understand for reasons explained in other videos so if you happen to be in a situation where you're in a supermarket and you unexpectedly get stopped by security wanting to search your bags know this they can potentially detain you if they have reasonable grounds to suspect that you've been shoplifting which is an indictable offense Although it's ordinarily tried summarily if it's low value shoplifting that is not more than £200 but is still indictable and you can elect Crown Court trial. They can detain you to wait for the police to arrive but what they cannot do, they have no power to do, is to search your bags and go through your bags without your permission. Now, if I was in a supermarket and I had a bag and I was about to leave the store and the security guard said, hang on a minute, sir, I believe that you have X, Y or Z in your bag that you haven't paid for, naturally, I'd be a little bit put off by this because I do pay for everything that I take from a store and I would be a little bit put off about being accused of taking something without paying for it, without permission and stealing something. So I would have a conversation with the security guard to say, well, what is it you think that I've got in my bag that you think I haven't paid for? I would engage the security guard in this conversation because of a very important reason. They must have a suspicion that I've stolen something, even to detain me in the first place. If the security guard said, I'm just stopping you to check whether you have anything in your bag, then that's not a lawful reason to detain me. If the security guard were to say, we've had a lot of thefts in here recently and we are stopping random people, that is also not a reason to detain me. And by the way, if you're wondering what the noise is, it's Jeff the robotic vacuum on the floor over there, which I will link in the description below. He's very good and comes along and vacuums the floor every now and again, although he interrupts my videos sometimes because I'm trying to tell you about the law on shopkeepers detaining you. But nonetheless, we shall continue the video unperturbed by the noise of Jeff the robotic vacuum. Jeff's not his official name, by the way, it's only his adoptive name given by us. Now, back to the store. The security guard cannot detain me unless they have a reasonable suspicion. Now, bearing in mind that I'm going to record every conversation that happens like this because I have a triple tap on the back of my phone which will set up a recording memo. So if I have this conversation with a shopkeeper, I will triple tap the back of my phone and perhaps I'll do another video on how to activate that on Black Belt Secrets, my sister channel linked in the description below. Not my sister's channel, my sister channel, my channel, Black Belt Secrets, linked in the description below. How you can activate these quick features, such as the triple tap on the back of an iPhone to activate memo recording. Because if I want to record a conversation, I can do it very quickly and I can do it just like that. So if I want to present evidence that the security guard did not have a genuine real suspicion to detain me, I can prove it with the conversation that occurs between me and the security guard in this fictitious scenario. This is all of course on the assumption that the security guard has no genuine suspicion and no reason to suspect me and I can prove them wrong. But let's say that we've got someone else who is not me, who is under a reasonable suspicion of having shoplifted something. Not the lady in the video I'm talking about, I'm talking about someone who is genuinely under real suspicion of having shoplifted something. Then if they do have this reasonable suspicion and they can back up this reasonable suspicion, they can detain them until the police arrive. But as I said at the outset of the video, what they cannot do is search this person's bag without their permission. Shop security officers and any other security officers for that matter do not have any power over and above that of an ordinary citizen. In other words, if they are not a police officer, they've got no power to search your bag. And even if the police want to search your bag, there are various grounds to do that as well. I've covered that in other videos, which I will link in the description below. 
However, I wanted to do this video now because it's in my mind and that's how I work. So I wanted to do this video now before I show you the video that I found on TikTok because I will bring that video to you when the lady replies to me and gives me permission to use the video and gives me a bit more detail about what store it was and what precisely happened. Because if I'm going to name the store and all of the facts that underpin the video, which does name the store, I want to form a reasonable basis for what I believe based on the video and present the video to you so you could have your own views, develop your own views. And if you don't agree with my views, then that's fine. But what that also does is get me out of any kind of defamation claim because I've presented the video to you and you can make up your own mind and your own judgment based on the facts that I've presented along with my opinion. Because an opinion expressed, if genuinely held on a basis of facts presented to you, is a defense to a defamation claim. So if you happen to be in the situation where you are stopped and you are searched without your permission, of course, if you consent, that's a different story. But if you are searched without your permission, then they are overstepping their authority because they have none. They have no authority over and above an ordinary citizen, which does, of course, include detaining you until the police get there if they do have a genuinely held suspicion that they can back up to have stopped you in the first place. I hope you found this useful. Please do remember to like this video and subscribe. That always helps the algorithm and I'll see you next time.